Quarterback Dak Prescott has given Dallas fans something to believe in. And the second-year signal caller was nothing short of miraculous against the Packers. Having to avoid the pass rush and keeping his eyes down the field, he keeps the play alive, and they do an excellent job of converting on third down because of the legs of Dak Prescott. Dak's just incredible with his playmaking ability, and we're able to move the ball. I felt like we had a good plan against him. Dak was really, really good in this ball game, throwing the ball to the right guy, made a lot of big time throws throughout the game, big plays for us. One step fade right there, over the shoulder, dropped it in, touchdown! Third for Prescott. I really am compelled to say this. I thought Dak played the best game that he's played since he's been a Cowboy. Despite Dak's effort, the Cowboys still trailed by four with under 10 minutes to go. A touchdown meant a lead but any time left on the clock would belong to Aaron Rodgers. Well, we're seeing Dak Prescott complete a lot of passes. I mean, he's really been efficient. This is caught and a big one, first down. Prescott marched Dallas into the red zone in 15 plays taking over eight minutes off the clock. He faced a second down with 124 remaining. in the gun on third and two handoff Elliott trying to get up the middle no oh, Prescott keeps it he runs around the left end and he bangs it in for the touchdown and the Cowboys lead with a minute 13 remaining was a Read, uh, read play, and uh, it, was a, it was a great call by Coach Linehan. Uh, it was a good job of calling to that side. Uh, 52, uh, Clay wasn't, wasn't biting much on those run actions, so we go to the other side. I get the end to, to bite on, the, on Zeke. Uh, and just gives me a lane, and it does a good job blocking out there. They're reading the Mod Brooks at the line of scrimmage. 55, he takes the dive, Prescott keeps it, and he goes and scores. You hate to be the guy, Joe, that says, well, you don't want to score too early. Yeah, but you but have to take this touch. You have to take that. And But the question now is, did they score too early? I mean, there is time for Aaron Rodgers, as we know. Well, what I uh, wanted to do was keep the ball away from him, but obviously we needed to score a touchdown. And we'll be second-guessing those uh, last two calls, uh, and I know we will as well, uh, for a long time. Could Dak have slid when he got to the one on the touchdown run, make sure they don't have a minute 13 to come back and score? Uh, in theory, he could do that, yes. I just think you have to be careful about trying to be perfect. It's hard to score touchdowns. You know, it's a four-point game at that time. There's no guarantee you're going to score a touchdown there. So uh, I think in that particular case, he did the right thing. You're playing with fire with doing that. I mean, those guys get paid on defense too. So, I mean, if you're, you're running out and you're trying to get it to – to third down and you're wasting the time, I mean, it's, it's a slippery slope there. So, I mean, for us, it's important just to get, a, get in the end zone, uh, put the pressure on them, um, and trust in our defense. Keep it up, keep it up, we got them. We get a stop right here, we go win the game. Gotta go stop Aaron Rodgers. He's got a lot of magic in that right arm. The field goal ties the game. Did you think a minute 13 was too much time? Yes, I think we all did. We knew that uh, there was likelihood that he'd get three. Hopefully you could keep him out of the end zone. 
When you get the ball there, are you thinking touchdown or field goal at first? I'm thinking touchdown. The key to any good two-minute drive is the first play. You gotta get some positive yards. Blitz on, throws the goal left side, hits Devontae Adams' back shoulder. When you got 12 back there, it allows you to kind of be a little bit more calm. You know he's going to take full control of the game. When you have a quarterback like that, you always have a possibility of winning. Some people can make a baby in a minute, so... I mean, there's a lot of miracles happening in the world right now. Aaron Rodgers' supernatural ability to extend plays birthed the game's turning point. 29 seconds remaining. The Packers now are out of timeouts. They've moved to the Dallas 30-yard line. Green Bay trailing by three. It'll be third down and about eight. Snap, Rodgers, rush on. Steps up, scrambles left. Rodgers on the run. Yes! 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 To the 15 and out of bounds. At the Dallas 12-yard line. Their main coverage was two-man. So they play two backers, uh, either spying or taking the back. The Cowboys had two linebackers available to watch Rodgers and running back Aaron Jones. But on the snap, both defenders followed Jones, leaving Rodgers with a clear running lane. Kind of open on the left a little bit. I tried to squeeze through. Sometimes when I run, I don't get my knees up. So I've been focusing on making sure I get my knees up. On third down, an 18-yard carry. There is nobody like Aaron Rodgers in this league. Big point of emphasis for us coming into this ball game. Obviously, he was trying to keep him in the pocket as much as we could, but on that particular play, he got out. Boy, David Irving almost had him for a couple yard loss. Rodgers just escaped him. Can you effectively describe to people at home who have no clue just how hard it is to keep that guy contained in the pocket? Should I say the F word? I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is really hard. I saw him out the corner of my eye break out, tried to roll out and get him. Just missed the tackle. The game's on the line on third down. At the critical time, they let him out. It didn't look like David Irvin missed him by more than maybe a foot for a sack. Yeah, uh, and that's really what the nature of this game is. You know, obviously they made the play there, and it was the difference in the game. Once I was able to get loose, it was about getting the first down, and my scramble gave us a chance to take off shots in the end zone. Rodgers would target Jordan Lewis, a rookie corner shadowing receiver Devontae Adams. Fade left side of the end zone, swatted away. Jordan Lewis knocked it out of the hands of Devontae Adams. But they are picking on Jordan Lewis, no question about it. He threw it, he was in a tough spot. I came back and let him know. I said, do it, do it again, let's go back to it. And he gave me that look and I was, let's, let's do it again. I was gonna call another play, but uh, Tay came back and said, call it again. With his eyes, he just said, throw a better ball. Second down and 10. Football to the 12 yard line of Dallas, 16 seconds ago in the game. Rodgers in the shotgun, gets the snap. Looking, throws left side of the end zone. Leaping, great yeah. lead by four, 11 seconds to go in the game. Aaron Rodgers has done it again. The moment isn't as big as you think it is. It comes down to the little things executed perfectly. Hit Devontae on the back shoulder to start the whole drive. That ultimately sets up the winning pass because he's playing high shoulder on the first play, we go back shoulder. He's playing lower shoulder on the last play. We go over the top with a high throw. Devontae Adams beat Jordan Lewis. Just didn't fall our way this time. He's a great quarterback. You know, he has great rhythms around him. And, you know, we had to stop him. You know, I just didn't get it done. I looked a little earlier so I could locate it, throw a perfect ball, and I really didn't have to do much. with 
73 seconds and one timeout left. Marshall the Packers, 75 yards to the lead score. Our identity is that when we have to have it, there's zero excuses. It was important plays at the most important time by those guys, and so I'm really proud of them.